In March 1892, three black grocery store owners were murdered by a mob of white men in Memphis, Tennessee. Such lynchings occurred throughout the American South, often without subsequent legal investigation or punishment. However, a young journalist named Ida B. Wells, a friend of the victims, reported on these murders. She sought to uncover the truth about the incident, shocking the nation with her reporting. This marked the beginning of her career as an investigative journalist, civic leader, and civil rights advocate. Ida Bell Wells was born into slavery in Holly Springs, Mississippi on July 16, 1862, several months before the Emancipation Proclamation freed her and her family. At 16, she lost both parents and a brother to yellow fever. To support her five remaining siblings, she worked as a school teacher in Memphis, Tennessee. During this time, she began her career as a journalist under the pen name Ayola. By the early 1890s, she gained a reputation as a clear voice against racial injustice and became co-owner and editor of the Memphis Free Speech and Headlight newspaper. In the decades following the Civil War, Southern whites attempted to reassert their power by committing crimes against black people, including suppressing their votes, vandalizing their businesses, and even murdering them. After the murder of her friends, Wells launched an investigation into lynching. She analyzed specific cases through newspaper reports and police records and interviewed people who had lost friends and family to lynch mobs. Risking her life as a black person investigating racially motivated murders, she enraged many Southern white men involved in lynchings. Her bravery paid off. While most whites claimed that lynchings were responses to criminal acts by black people, Wells showed through her research that these murders were actually a deliberate, brutal tactic to control or punish black people who competed with whites. For instance, they were lynched when their grocery store gained popularity, competing with a white rival. In 1892, Wells published her findings, prompting a white mob to destroy her presses. Threatened, she fled to New York and republished her research in 1892 as Southern Horrors, Lynch Law in All Its Phases. Settling in Chicago in 1895, she expanded on her work in The Red Record, drawing international attention to lynching atrocities. Wells leveraged her fame to advocate against racial violence, rallying European support and urging U.S. action upon her return. She fearlessly confronted powerful organizations, challenging the YMCA's segregationist policies and leading a delegation to the White House to protest discriminatory workplaces. Despite being disenfranchised, Wells played a crucial role in advocating for voting rights, founding a black women's suffrage organization in Chicago. However, she clashed with white leaders during a women's suffrage march in Washington, D.C., refusing to accept their attempts to marginalize black women. Wells also collaborated with other civil rights leaders, insisting on exposing the atrocities in the South despite opposition from those who feared it would hinder negotiations with white politicians. Although she helped found the NAACP, Wells was eventually marginalized within the organization organization due to her unwillingness to compromise on her vision of justice. Her uncompromising stance illuminated the weaknesses of various rights movements, making them stronger but also alienating her from them. Ida B. Wells left an indelible mark on history through her relentless pursuit of justice and equality. Her courage in the face of adversity and unwavering commitment to truth-telling continued to inspire generations. Wells' groundbreaking investigative journalism exposed the horrors of lynching and challenged the prevailing narrative of racial superiority. Her advocacy for women's rights, particularly in the suffrage movement, paved the way for future generations of activists. Despite facing backlash and marginalization, Wells remained steadfast in her convictions, refusing to compromise on her vision of justice. Today, Wells' legacy lives on as a symbol of resilience and activism. Her pioneering work in civil rights and journalism serves as a beacon of hope for those fighting against oppression and inequality. Through her words and actions, Ida B. Wells continues to empower individuals to stand up for what is right and to confront injustice wherever it may exist. 